Hello everyone, I'm Argama Witch and today I'm going to be showing you how to um, use Unity to change your blend shapes for your VRM model. First thing you're going to want to do is export your model and make sure you have both a name and an author in place. Save your VRM to wherever you want, it's easy to find. Then you're going to go to this website here and you're going to grab this first option, this package right here. Um, once you click and download it, you're going to want to go to Unity and open it up. And you're going to want a new project, you're going to want a new 3D project, and you can name this whatever you'd like. You can just hit create. And then once this opens up, you're going to want to go to assets and import a package. Uh, custom package and then find that that file you downloaded and import it in this little box is going to come up with all these little options and you're just going to click import and allow it to do its thing it might take a while but that's okay just let it do it what it's got to do and yeah <laughs> Once it does, there will be a new file at the top that you can click on, and we're gonna go down here and click Import. And we're gonna import our VRM that we saved earlier. And hit OK. And now you're going to take your model and drag it into the main camera. You can also drag it directly on screen or anywhere in that hierarchy um, lineup. Uh, you just use your mouse button scroll wheels and such in order to zoom in. Usually it zooms in a lot closer than this. Sometimes it doesn't. I don't know. So on the side there is an option that said blend shapes. You're going to click it and the very first one when you select you'll see all these options. And you're going to want to click over on any of the emotions here. And you'll see that this slider is all the way to one side. And these are the default ones. Instead of doing that I do each one individually so I can adjust it how I want. Sometimes they might go all the way up still. Sometimes I might want to add them with a the little others. This is strictly up to you and how you would like to do it. Uh, it's mostly just dinking around with these sliders to get the emotion exactly where you want it. And if you don't want your mouth being, being hung open when you trigger an emotion, it's usually best to kind of leave that sort of alone, maybe just slightly adjust it. If you're okay with your mouth being wide open, then you can adjust it. Uh, but usually if you use something like Leopard, it'll try to talk with your mouth open. So here I am going through each and every single one of those. Um, I might even go through the A-E-I-O-U in order to adjust that so it looks a little different as well. Now there's an extra one and you can uh, change it how you want or you can add your own by clicking add blend shape and then you just type in what you want to call it. Uh, you open, drop down, and you know, you create yourself a new and unique blend shape to you or at least with not new blend shape but new adjusting of the current <laughs> blend shapes and all of these save automatically to this so you, so you don't have to worry about it uh, the blend shape saved to this file and so this is what I'm gonna go with for my art once I'm done with that I'm gonna go select my model make sure I, uh, I select the entire model not just uh, a bit of it. Then I'm going to go back to where I was before and I'm going to do export humanoid and this menu is going to pop up and it's going to make sure that you have an author in there so this is why it was important to add that before. And then you just hit export and you save it to wherever you want to save it. You can even save it over your old uh, file and although this tutorial is kind of quick that's pretty much all there is to it but for the most part that's really it. And now you should have access to all your blend shapes. Including your new one. Ah. <laughs> I hope this has helped you and if it has, please give this video a like. And if you have any comments, please leave them down below and I'll try to answer them the best I can. Um, I'm not going to be answering too many specific things on how to use Unity because I'm still very new at it. Uh, but for this tutorial, that's it, and I'll see you later. Bye!